about a great thing that I'm doing to build um, you know these structures that we live in buildings um, I want to give you one word that you should really keep in the forefront of your mind if you want to build and you want something really beautiful and really worthwhile and something that's so uh, natural that it's just going to give you back your strength and, and your true power here in life it's called adobe uh, otherwise spelled A-D-O-B-E and uh, really what it is um, there's a certain type of earth or soil which is clay it has to be a high clay content and basically um, it's not exactly loamy it's not exactly silt but you've got to get to know the earth so if you're a farmer or a landscaper or a builder kind of a person connected with the earth you know what I mean what I'm saying grounded as I've done as much as I know as as many books as I read and as scientific as I get and rocket science to the moon and everything else that I've studied I still come back to the soil okay we are made of soil just the particles rearranged and suspended by this spiritual energy but let's just stick to the subject of when we build a place which is going to be our home a temple something pure and you know a great thing that we can have for our for our security and stability um, by the way I did mention in my other video you'll see it when I'm gone <coughs> on my break that I'm going to be homeless and um, I don't know if you're going to be seeing me in this office and such but uh, home home is where the heart is you know home home is where you hang your hat right there see and home is home sweet home it's where you can be comfortable they have laws in certain states in the United States and it's just basically understanding that you have around the earth that a man is the king of his own castle his castle laws and that's because if laws don't exist there in your favor where are they going to exist down on the street, not in the mall, certainly not, because this is a commercialized zone. They privately own it, as they always remind you. You can't even use cameras in a mall. You can't speak your mind. Even if you go there, go there with a friend, you talk about something, they'll tell you, you can't talk about that here. Leave. This is just for spending money, going into debt. Where's your credit card, your charge card? They should do that at the mall. They should. They should frisk everybody and make sure they got good you know charge cards before they come in <coughs> I'm being facetious but your home is where you, you're most powerful supposedly you know I, I feel powerful when I'm, when I'm moving especially when I'm on the path like the war path you don't want to catch me on my wrong side out in the forest that's for sure now, <coughs> we draw energy from the earth. Really, in our houses, the most greatest thing to be able to have, which hardly anyone does or experiences, is an earthen floor. Earthen. Hard packed earthen floor. It gets hard so it's stabilized, but it gives. It gives just, just the right amount. It's like walking on a nice trodden path that's been made by natural feet and movements for many, many years. Many, many moons. And the earthen floors would be so good on our feet, but we don't have it. What's your floor? Oh, it's wood, it's parquet floor, it's ceramic, it's carpets. Carpets are nice too. But at least in a few rooms of the house it should be earthen. And by the way, it's also water resistant. 
it forms a glaze. There's a, such a thing as a patina, and that's only in natural things. Patina forms, so it gets a sheen that is natural and seals the surface. Let's talk about adobe, though, and not just the floor. Let's talk about it in the walls. The reason why I've been struggling with the place that I'm in, and various other places, I always struggle because I'm an idealist. If I didn't build it, I have difficulty with it. And the thing is, I've never been able to keep any major place that I've built. If you didn't know, I'm a builder, I'm a carpenter, master builder, designer. I've also had architectural uh, training, although I never went for the, the, the official architect license. Uh, but in, in many places of the world, I will be considered a full architect. Um, the walls bother me because these are solid concrete, thick as hell, and they're reinforced. And, you know, so it's steel, it's rebar, otherwise known as. And what I don't like is that the insulation is bad about this. It doesn't circulate the heat the way you would need to. So therefore, it's an energy drain. Uh, an energy drain means a money drain. It's a money pit. Um, why do people build these things and why do they live in them? Because, as the word that I wanted you really to get today, is adobe. Adobe. Some people call it adobe. Um, it's a word that is a uh, native indigenous word, uh, aboriginal, but also they say, or it may have definitely come from the Arabic. So look that up if you're a linguist. But <coughs> when I talk about walls, something that you can, uh, that you can, uh, what was I going to say, <laughs> like appreciate is that the entire wall can be adobe if you do it properly and you can also use it to encase uh, straw bale which I've shown you on a lot of videos before we have it on internet global you can look that up um, and even if you don't put the the inner core of the wall as, as straw bale which is nice for your exteriors you can do adobe on a lot of things or you can also do adobe as a finishing surface which is much like uh, stucco or something like that but as well you can do it on the interior so if I wanted to go through the trouble and be here what I could do is on the other side of the exteriors and um, what's just the other side of the concrete, I could put another layer for insulation um, and then resurface that. The thing with Adobe is that although it's very good, it's, it can be problematic in areas that have a lot of rain, hard precipitation or um, moisture like um, near rivers or swamps, bayous, stuff like that. Um, it, it could be, but that there's a way to treat that. But what I wanted to say about interior is that I could I could redo the surface here that's facing out, and, and that could be adobe. And there's ways to um, to make it stick. And you basically you're putting up a layer, and you could use uh, mesh and stuff. But one of the key things that I've learned about Adobe that I didn't always know, and somebody had to, to point it out to me, actually an expert over at Black Mountain Lodge, look that up. Um, and they said that um, you should never mix it with cement. Because so, I thought I made a combination mix before I add the water, and um, it, it was like I did like one-fourth to one-third Portland. Portland cement. I was told that's not to be done. That you're you're really compromising the integrity of the adobe. The adobe does not need Portland cement. So check it. Um, <coughs> I never would have known that. See, I'm the way I do things. I I mix it up. But really, what I when I did that particular mixture, everything seemed to be fine for a superficial use. 
uh, which is what I did. I actually did it on paper cream, which is a whole other story. But if, if you're really in the recycling mode, or you have a lot of materials that you know need to be reused, recycled, <coughs> you go in that direction. But if you're in an area with, with clay, you can access it, or you've got property with lots of clay, this is the thing. You collect it up, you powderize it, so you get your mixture, and then when you're ready to apply it, you wet it, you make this, it's a muck. And let me tell you, folks, in conclusion here, playing with mud has never been more fun. Children don't even know how to be practical with it. But when you've played with mud, and you've enjoyed it, and then you get into this practical skill, you play with mud. That's all you're doing. You know, there's a design and everything, and you know that the end result is going to be a lifetime of enjoyment. But you, you're playing. And it's really what we need to do more. Um, so even though, folks, I'm going to be suffering, it's going to be difficult, I'm not going to have modern conveniences, and I'm going to be cut off from everybody uh, physically, but mentally I won't be cut off, and hopefully I'm going to have time to play, I'm going to be able to build. I really need to because I need home sweet home. And uh, <coughs> Adobe is like an experience. It's, it's really hard for me to just, you know, get you the feeling of it through video, but it has like it has like a softness to it. Like when you're in there, it, it's the vibrational quality. Even when you talk inside of there, or you just, it's not so much as the talking. I do so much talking on the video, but the point is, you're just being there. And when your vibration comes off your body, when you you know you get into your home, you relax. The walls just feel like that, you know, like they feel like that energy, it comes back to you. It's much like your own body, you know, because look, this is, this is clay. This ain't concrete, you know, it's certainly not plastic. So that's my message for you today. If, if you never get a chance to build, um, <coughs> uh, I don't know, I guess... You can you can also work with clay. People make bowls and pottery and different things. It's just it's it's such a thing to like reconnect with uh, the earth, even if you're in in cities. Because uh, while <laughs> I'm like an all-out guy, I really want it, and I and I encourage you to come to it, give up everything that you have to to go on the path that I've experienced because I would never give it up for the world and I would inspire you to that. But if you are stuck or somehow, you know, that's your way and you, you don't you don't have the calling that I have, I still would say, as a minimum, you know, work with clay, make something. Um, <coughs> you don't need a lot of equipment. It's not you just you know, put it there on, on, on your table or on a on a stand and just Make it. Let it dry. You don't need a kiln. Y if you can have one, great. But if not, just, just play with some mud sometimes. And think about what I said, adobe. We should really build a future world. Our structures, our infrastructure, our homes out of this. Whether now or in the next lifetime. That's what it could be. That's, could be. That's what I wish. That's what I know is the best way. Thanks for listening.